States of America. This is WRMI, Okeechobee, Florida. Radio Miami International. You can find out more about WRMI at our website, WRMI.net. That's WRMI.net. Visit our website and share your QSL reports. This is WRMI. Radio Slovakia International. Slovakia Today. For June the 19th, it's Moimir Procházka. This is RSI News. Slovak and Ukrainian prosecutor generals met in Uzhorod. We four countries cooperate in crisis management and civil protection. Slovak Academy of Sciences, most trusted institution in Slovakia. of the Slovak Republic, Marozinka met with his Ukrainian counterpart Andriy Kostin in the western Ukrainian town of Uzhorod. They discussed the state of investigations into war crimes and crimes against humanity in Ukraine. Kostin praised Slovakia for being at the forefront of the investigation into international crimes committed in Ukraine at the time of Russian aggression. Assistance to Ukraine and preparation for further challenges related to irregular migration were the main topics of the meeting of the Director General of Crisis Management and Civil Protection of the V4 countries. The formation includes Czechia, Hungary, Poland and Croatia. For countries can be an example of how challenges that in many ways can be faced together. You can see here, so this was a good reception of Radio Slovakia via WRMI. We're on 15770 kilohertz on a 19 meter band. Uh, it's, it's, you see that it's a DSP radio by the way that the fading drops off when the signals go weaker. I'm using the telescopic antenna only on it and actually I'm recording also because I want to see how good it sounds when you're recording. Uh, a lot of the radios that I had in the past that were new Chinese type radios didn't really record well when I was actually using them. Uh, so I'm going to test if this one records well. So, uh, Radio Slovakia on the Crosley uh, four-band uh, cassette and USB Bluetooth receiver. Uh, not bad of a sound. Uh, pretty good quality. I'm, uh, I'm impressed for what it is. Uh, like I said, you know, we're considering price, features, and all of that. Uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty interesting to see how it goes. Uh, or I guess we're kind of losing 15770 right now. In the first days since opening the system, the application can be filed in a It must be delivered to the ministry by August 9th at the latest. Voters who do not have a permanent vote by mail. The vote by mail is also intended for voters who will be sent abroad at the time of the general election. To submit an application, it is necessary to have a valid product identity card or a valid product The smart general election will be held on September the 30th. Oh, first of all, the screen writer, director, editor, and the founder of the U.S. Bank to be able to be closely connected with the beginning of broadcasting of the last of the then Czechoslovak radio in Paralysis was engaged in the Slovak National Theater for 25 years and 1996. Every fifth Slovak university student studies abroad. According to the Educational Policy Institute, approximately 32,000 Slovak students are currently studying abroad with the number of holding steadily since 
go to study in the Czech Republic. Last year, universities there were attended by 21,000 Slovak students. The Netherlands is also a popular place for Slovak students, with the number in the country increasing tenfold between the year 2006 and 2021. Denmark has also recorded an increase in interest from Slovak students, receiving full-time more students in 2017 than in 2013. On the other hand, Slovak students are becoming less and less interested in studying in Austria, Germany and the UK. According to the analysis, the UK has received 23% fewer Slovak students last year than the year before. According to the analysis, 19% of the graduates of grammar school called Gymnasium in Slovakia and 35% of business academy and bilingual program graduates study abroad. Topical issues. To read the extended versions of business items and in-depth reports, visit our social media and our website www.rsi.sk. The news was compiled from Slovak press agencies and other media. Hello, and welcome to another Monday session of Slovakia Today. My name is Ben Pasco, and together with our sound technician, Romana Šundulikova, we have prepared some interesting topics you can look forward to in the upcoming weeks. The month of June traditionally belongs to...